Hey Aries, Everlong Mystic here. So I'm doing something a little bit different. This to, For this series I'm reading with um, colors. So for a while now I've been getting images of like the, you know, those paint chips, those paint cards in like at the store when you're trying to buy paint, like, you know, to paint your living room or whatever. And uh, they have all these cards with all the colors on them and I thought, man, it would be so cool to read like to do readings with that because they have such interesting names, right? So I grabbed a handful of them and we're just going to pick a few from that handful for your reading, Aries. Is that enough? I think that's enough. All right. All right, so we have Safety Orange, and what does Safety Orange do? Uh, I immediately think of the orange vest that you put on, like when, let's say, when you're hunting, so that you can be easily seen, so that someone doesn't shoot you, or, you know what I mean, like on accident. So I think there is an importance here with visibility for some reason, Aries. There's something meant to be very visible. Ooh, and a little spicy. We have habanero. We have two oranges in a row here. So it is kind of emphasizing something to do with sacral here. Allow yourself to be visible. Allow yourself to be spicy. I mean, I don't see how you would have a problem with spicy Aries except in the way that you edit it or limit it or tone yourself down for certain people or I don't know I feel like there might be a situation coming up for you where you are going to need to be spicy and you're probably going to need to be seen and heard Oh, maybe at work. We have Skyscraper. Oh, maybe at work. We have Skyscraper here. And that could either be like at a place of business, like a corporation, or it could be something like, um, like some big institution, you know, like a government or, or like a hospital or something like that. I'm just thinking like I'm relating the Skyscraper to the, the Tower card in Lenormand, which is like a very sturdy structure, but it, re you know, represents those things. But it can also represent loneliness. <clears throat> so here we have the grass is always greener. So you may not... <sighs> You may be feeling like you want to quit your job or something. It's weird. It's like I, I'm getting this feeling like something, and it doesn't have to be at work, but that's it's the easy easiest example for me to use. But if it's it's something like um, something happened either at work or where you spend most of your time, and there there were some like maybe there was a spicy word exchange and i don't know like maybe i mean maybe somebody didn't did not feel safe but i get more of a feeling of someone needs to stand up for themselves so i want to say this the grass is always greener i feel like this might be somebody else thinking that you have it made Aries when you don't you have just as many you're just as human as they are so here we have antique rose coming out I think Taurus had this color too and with antique rose it's like this is something tried and true something that does not go out of style something that works <clears throat> that it's always it's already been tested it's it works right so i 
I don't know. It feels like like this is kind of you, Aries. Like you, like you've been doing something that is tried and true, and it always works for you. And it's like someone's coming in and having a problem with it all of a sudden. <laughs> and then we have a hot lava. Uh oh. So we have a hot lava. It's like someone is coming in and, I don't know, it feels like someone's coming in and totally heating, heating up a situation here, Aries, and you, you're there. It's like, it's like you're there and, I don't know, are you an easy target? Is that why the safety orange is there? You're, because you're super visible? Because you're always there? You're, are you the tried and true? Like, I don't know. Oh, okay, so someone else had this card too. We have Avalanche. It's being buried. God, again, I'm thinking about work. It's coming out right underneath the skyscraper, and it's like, you know, it reminds me of when you do such a good job, which could be this antique rose. You do such a good job that you are punished for it. by You get all the work or something. So here you have this avalanche. And then you have you have people over here with this grass is greener thinking that oh you got it made or I don't know. Like they're jealous of your title or they're jealous of what you know green with envy, right? It's like they're jealous of how well you're able to produce or you do such a good job. Yeah, and we have Ivory again. You know, this is this is actually spirit coming in here. This is actually spirit coming in here and saying, "Hey, you know what? It's so you know, it's okay, Aries. They they're going to learn one day that the grass is not greener." And they may think that you're sitting in some freaking ivory tower or something, but you're doing what you need to do. You're doing what you're responsible for. And what, as far as karma is concerned, you will get what you deserve. But it's, it's going to come like from spirit. It's not going to come from other people necessarily. You know what I mean? See, so we have Supernova. It's weird. I mixed all the cards up and we're getting, we're getting all these cards of spirit coming in. All the, the much lighter cards. It's like they're, it's kind of saying, Aries, when things heat up, when you're in a little bit of hot lava, when you got that habanero spice <laughs> going on, it's like, remember, spirit is here too. Oh, beautiful. And I, I like this because we've got these these um, these intense oranges right here, right? And then we've got spirit coming in, and it's kind of lightening it up a little bit for you. So it's like you letting spirit lighten the load for you. And here we have an earthy, an earthy color coming in. And the name of this color is Treehouse. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I mean... Like a treehouse, that's like the house of spirit or something, or you know what I mean? It's like a house in the sky, right? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. So we have this beautiful blue coming in. It's like you've got these calming waters coming in, and it's titled Whale Song. And whale song kind of reminds me of, um, like ancestral lines, like ancestral lines. I feel like we need more. What are these ancestral lines about? Hold on. Let me just shuffle the ones I have left. What are these? Cause that was going to be my last card. What does Aries need to know about these ancestral lines?
Sandcastle. How beautiful is that? <laughs> so not only do you have a spirit around you, kind of like um, alleviating some of this heat here, but in this tree house, which is your kind of like spiritual house, right? You you have spirit, but you have you have ancestors, and they are singing singing a song to you, Aries, about sandcastles and dappled sunlight which is beautiful. It's like, what are you doing when you're making a sandcastle? You're being carefree, Aries. So it's like you're being encouraged to, you know what, just sit in the beautiful sunlight and try not to worry about too much about these other people. Karma will take care of them. It, you know, don't worry about it. Like, I'll, I'll help lighten the load for you. And we're going to have a nice day. <laughs> you know, that's kind of sweet. I like it. So Aries, this is your message. And um, let me know what you think about reading with color strips. Because this is my first time doing it with this series. And I'm interested what y'all think. All right. I'll see you later. Bye, Aries.